what we're going to do now is to show you how to prepare uh, a sample of bees for Nasima testing. I've got all the kit around me. Uh, you need to take a sample of 30 bees and you can collect those from the front of the hive in a matchbox like this. Uh, block the entrance to the hive, let the bees gather on the front and then put that on the front of the hive over the bees and just slide it shut. So the bees are trapped in there. Uh, you can collect them in a little tub like this. The screw top holding at the front of the entrance and just knocking the bees in until you have it full and then screw in. Or you can use a jar like this uh, which has got a lid on with holes in. So it's two lids back to back. Click them in there, lid on and then you can either put all of these whichever you collect your sample in, in the freezer or with this one you can put in a sec second jar over the top your killing fluid, tissues with your insect killing fluid from for dissection on there and then just leave it and the bees will will die. So preparing in the SEMA slide we have the resealable bag here and we've written on there the identity of the hive. We have a sample of bees just down here, uh, 30 bees, a pipette and we've got a tub with 30 millilitres of water in it. So we just go through the process of putting the bees, the 30 sample, into the bag. So there we are. We then put about 10 mil of the water into the bag, just enough to give it some moisture in there. It's not to flood it. Put the top back on that so it doesn't uh, spill. Seal the bag up. And then using uh, an empty jar, any jar, we can then just crush the bees. Roll it on like a rolling pin. Uh, be careful you don't split the bag by trapping air in the corner and carrying on rolling. Because uh, we like a balloon, it'll just pop. So, so what we're doing is just crushing the bee, heads, thorax, abdomen, and the lot. We haven't uh, taken the abdomen off the bees to start with. And the liquid is just, we added, the water we added is just helping that process to mix up. So you can see it's a bit of a gooey mess in there. So we have some crushed bees. We now take that sample and add to it the remainder of the water. So we're just going to take what's left of the water and pour it here into the bag. Side, seal the bag up again, and then give it a good mix up. With all that, uh, the contents of the abdomen, we want to get thoroughly mixed up into that water. Uh, and the fact that we've used 30 bees and 30 ml of water on each sample means that we can compare sample to sample. So, when we've got that, you can see there. It is quite a, a gooey mess if we just home into that. So the bees are crushed, the, the waters become quite stained with the contents of the, the inside of the bee. And now we want to make up the slide. So we have a microscope slide here. Difficult to see because it's plain glass. But first of all we will write on it the identity of the hive. So we have that, so that's the same number as on the bag. And then using a clean pipette, which are extremely cheap, you buy them by the hundreds uh, off the internet. We just put on the bag there. There we are. 
You're just going to put a little drop of water. I'll just zoom in to see if you can see how much I'm going to put on. There we are. So now we're just going to put a little drop. There we are. That's it. Onto the slide. We then take a cover slip. And where the drop is, we just gently place that on top. We'll spread out and there we have the if you see we have the identity of the, the colony on this side we have the cover slip and underneath that there is a sample so that slide is now ready for testing under the microscope at 400 magnification for seam spores. Uh, clean away you can throw the bags away with the bees in not reusable and also the pipettes you'll just contaminate clean the board down and then do your next sample sample shows bad infestation in the SEMA. Each of the rice shaped items is in the SEMA spore. These are in the SEMA spores at much higher magnification.